This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This article here is called There Are No Victorious Secrets Angels in the Brand's Future. The lingerie label is undergoing a dramatic transformation and I would say the transformation is pretty historical and it's a really big transformation. It's getting some traction in the news and this is one of those videos where I'll never be able to say exactly what I want to say about the topic but I want to take some gloves off here because if I was just like a YouTuber coming around and being like, so what do you guys think? That wouldn't be so valuable. Now, behind what's going on here, there's a lot of elements at play. There's a lot of gears moving around. And the main thing is this. I don't think this is necessary. And I don't think that Victoria's Secret is the best brand to be going in the direction they're going. I just don't think it holds up as honest for them. But let's take a look at the article and, well, I'll let you guys, of course, make up your mind for yourself. For decades, Victoria's Secret has been synonymous with its supermodels, women who have fronted the label and taken part in the brand's annual fashion show, the top ranking of which were named Angels. By the way, perfect name. I can't think of a better name for, like, what's some of the hottest women in the world, some of the sexiest women in the world, I would say Angels is chef's kiss perfect. However, in a dramatic new strategy, which will see the lingerie brand go in a much more modern direction, the Angels will be replaced with ambassadors who have been brought on board to inspire change and positivity and have not been chosen for their looks alone. The brand will also be launching a number of new charitable partnerships which will help to support the lives of women all over the world. Which is a great thing. Any company that could afford to do that should do that. These new ambassadors will not be called angels but will instead form the VS Collective. Which sounds not quite as sexy as Angels does, but what the hell, it's just Victoria's Secret, they don't need to be sexy anymore. Which the label describes as an ever-growing group of accomplished women who share a common passion to drive positive change. Well, again, that sounds nice, but not necessarily sexy, which is what I thought Victoria's Secret was about, but hey, what do I know? I guess just change everything, change the whole world and no one's gonna notice. Well, we'll talk about that too. The first names on the roster include Audit Achek, Priyanka Kropa Jonas, Valentina Sampio, Palmora Esslier, Megan Rapinone, Eileen Gu, and Amanda Del Cadnet, which I've heard that name before. Something connected with, well, let's just say, Johnny Depp's ex-wife but not going there today. With the VS Collective, we are creating a platform that will build new, deeper relationships with all women. Which again, yes, that sounds like a good thing, but is Victoria's Secret, the company, the right brand, the right force in the world to want to build deeper relationships with all women? I think sometimes companies have to accept that they have like a core customer base and they can't actually sell to everybody. There are some things in this world that just don't quite work for everybody in the same way. So sexy lingerie does not quite work for everybody in the same exact way. So it's not really possible to market sexy lingerie to everybody. You can try. We'll see how that goes. Through a series of collaborations, business partnerships, and cause-related initiatives, we're bringing new dimensions to our brand experience in marrying our old partner's energy, creativity, and perspectives with our network and scale we can transform how we connect with and show up for women. And they go on to say more about charities, which I said is a good thing. I'm not going to bash Victoria's Secret for you know, pitching in on any charities, that's a great thing. I'm just not quite making the connection 
between the rebranding with the different women, which we'll get into, and the charities. Just saying. I just like to see some connections when they're mentioning things. The announcements give a strong suggestion about the new direction that the lingerie label plans to go in, which had been long criticized for its sexist and outdated approach to marketing. I'm not sure how long it had been criticized, but, you know, when you have a brand and it's made for a specific purpose, and in this case, it's very arguable that Victoria's Secret is made to be a sexy outfit for women who want to attract men or as kind of like a present for their man's birthday, for Valentine's Day, you know, that honeymoon, that special trip, or something like that. And I guess not everybody's going to necessarily like that, but at a certain point, you just got to know who you are selling to, and you've got to accept that you can't actually please everybody. Because we can't have every single corporation and company in the world saying, hey, we have a more diverse world, so we've got to twist our product to please everybody. It just doesn't quite work like that. You can't take like a fishing rod and say, now we're going to sell it to volleyball players and lawyers and parachute jumpers. It's because it's fishing. So if you get my drift, at a certain point, you've got to just accept you've got a certain fan base, like with Gillette. Okay, Gillette went woke. They lost $8 billion. They should have known Gillette is selling to dudes. <laughs> dudes who shave. Dudes who play sports. Dudes who box. You know, dudes who fucking ride mountain bikes and get down and dirty. They're not selling to everybody. Everybody's welcome to buy the product. The product's not against everybody. But at the same time, it's not a bad thing to market certain products to certain types of people. And she quotes, This is a dramatic shift for our brand, and it's a shift that we embrace from our core. Martin Waters, chief executive officer, said, These new initiatives are just the beginning. We are engaged and humbled by the work ahead of us. And here's another thing. First, let's take a look at the models. And here's the first model. I'm not going to sit here and try to make people laugh and, you know, make fun. But I will say this. Personally, this is not somebody I think of when I think of a lingerie model. But hey, it's opinion. Let's see the next one. Okay. Now, surely you can call anybody an angel. I'm an angel. I can call my grandmother an angel. I can call the lady at the grocery store who, you know, packs my groceries an angel. I can call Megan Rapione, a soccer player, an angel. But it doesn't quite work in the same way as when you call somebody like Tyra Banks an angel. Now, the reason is, she's what I would think, and probably most people would think, that the regular dude likes. Do you think that the regular dude, you know, washing his car, watching a baseball game, coming home on the train, tired from work, would want to see Tyra Banks in lingerie, or Megan Rapione? Or this fine lady. Like I said, it's subjective, it's an opinion, but I think you can safely assume an average. So I'm going to end it here. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. This is one of those videos that's just like really risky, but I couldn't help myself from covering the topic. Like I said, ultimately, it's subjective, but I think it's safe to say that there's definitely an average and a safe bet when looking into certain questions and asking certain things about likes and dislikes and about what fits certain gloves better than others. So I leave it up to you. This lady as an angel, Megan soccer player as an angel 
or Tyra Banks. I won't judge. You're free to choose. If you're not subscribed here, I'm usually doing different things than this. Amber Heard vs. Johnny Depp, Meghan Markle, Little Marilyn Manson, whatever comes up in the news. But once in a while, some topics, I just can't help it. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you consider it and you still don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time. <laughs>